Fed Chair Powell told a House Select Subcommittee on the coronavirus crisis this week that inflation is still seen as transitory despite recent data showing big increases over last year. Hi, my name is Cindy Kreese with this week's market update. If this is your first time to my channel and you'd like to receive more videos like this or real estate tips or videos on what's like living in the area, well then hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. That way you're notified every time I do a new video. I literally get phone calls, texts, emails from people moving in the area. So set an appointment and I got your back. Powell also reaffirmed the Fed's intent to encourage a broad and inclusive job market recovery and to avoid interest rate increases based only on fear of coming inflation. Unemployment claims reassumed their downward trend last week after rising slightly in the prior week. The labor market continues to head toward a full recovery. The median price of an existing home was $250,000 in May, a 23.6% year-over-year increase. Low inventory and strong demand are fueling the extraordinary home prices. Existing home sales in May were down for fourth straight month, falling 0.9% as just 1.23 million homes were for sale. That's a 2.5 month supply and a 20.6 drop from a year earlier. New home sales also fell in May, reaching a one-year low. The median price of newly built houses jumped 18.1% to $374,400, due in part to expensive materials, including lumber. As always, thank you for listening and always feel free to reach out and stay safe.